welcome back to my channel. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to be making one of the recipes from my HelloFresh subscription box. I'm making the oven roasted chicken with winter veggies and lemon thyme sauce. So I am looking forward to that. It's going to be delicious and I'm going to show you how I do it. Step one, preheat and prep. I'm just going to start by chopping up my veggies and preparing them for the next step. And my parsnips. And I'm gonna throw them in a Ziploc bag with the other vegetables to kind of mix them around with the olive oil and the spices. Now for the Brussels sprouts. I'll be honest with you, I've never prepared Brussels sprouts before. I've only eaten them once. So this is new for me. I'm kind of excited to try it and uh, I hope I'm trimming it properly because I never prepared them. It says to trim and half them. So I guess I'm gonna cut off this little dead looking stem here and just cut it right down the middle. Like that, that looks good. Well, I already messed up. I just went back and looked at the directions and I was supposed to cut the carrots and the parsnips at an angle to make them look pretty. And I didn't, but that's okay. So I cut the lemon in half. And now I'm gonna take the thyme and strip it off into the bowl. If you have no idea how to get the thyme leaves off of the stem, you run your finger along the stem backwards against the growth of the leaves. The next step is to bring one cup of water and a pinch of salt to a boil. Step two, roast veggies. I'm going to drizzle the vegetables with some olive oil in the bag. Close it up. Toss it around, make sure everything gets covered. All right, everything in here looks nice and wet. So I'm gonna dump this out onto my baking sheet and then I'm gonna season it. All right, it says to sprinkle about half of the thyme over this. And some salt, so I like to use kosher salt. Some fresh cracked pepper. And then I'm just gonna stick this in the oven. And it says roast until lightly brown, 20 to 25 minutes, and toss it halfway through. So I'm gonna put this in the oven and set my clock for 10 minutes. Step three, cook the rice. So I have to cover this and reduce it to a simmer and let that cook for about 15 minutes. Step four, season and cook chicken. In the next step, I have to prepare the chicken. It says to just take the breasts, season them with some salt and pepper, and sear them in a pan. So right now I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt and pepper on here, and then cook them up and get them nice and brown. Once my pan is nice and hot, I'm gonna put my chicken in, season side down. salt and pepper the other side. It's been about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna toss my vegetables and then cook them for another 10 to 15 minutes until they're nice and brown. And the chicken. That's a nice color, so I'm gonna flip them over and cook the other side. Now the recipe card says that once the chicken is brown to transfer it to a baking sheet and finish cooking it the rest of the way, about another five to 10 minutes until it's thoroughly cooked. All right, now that my chicken is nice and brown on both sides, I'm gonna transfer it to this cookie sheet that I, I sprayed some cooking grease with. Nice and brown on both sides, but it's definitely still not cooked. As you can see, it's still pink on the edge. So I'm just gonna kind of lay them out here on this pan and finish cooking them in the oven. Step five, make the pan sauce. Now that the pan 
is empty, I could use this to make the gravy. So it says just drizzle a little bit of olive oil in here. Well, I turn the heat on low because I don't want to burn any of this stuff. Actually, it says over medium heat. So I'll do it a little bit higher. Okay. I have to add the packet of chicken demi glaze in here. I have two packets, so I'm going to add both of them. This smells really good. I'm really excited for this. All right. It says add the rest of the thyme and one cup of water. And then let that simmer and I'm going to scrape the brown bits off the bottom because that adds a lot of flavor. And then I have to continue to let this simmer until it reduces by about half, which as I said takes about two to three minutes. Feels like I got most of the stuff off the bottom, so I'm gonna let this start to simmer and thicken up. Now that the rice is done cooking, I took it off the heat, and it says to fluff the rice with a fork and add half a tablespoon of butter, which I've already done. So it looks nice and fluffy, and that's just gonna sit and wait for everything else to finish. And the vegetables are done. As you listen to my baby crying because I'm up here cooking and not down there cuddling with him. Um, they all look very nice. And I'm just gonna wait for the chicken to finish cooking and then I'll plate everything. Now that the sauce is thickened up nicely, the next step is to remove it from the heat, which I've already done. Squeeze a lemon in it and put a tablespoon of butter. So that's what I'm gonna do. Squeeze a lemon. I'm doing it this way to catch any seeds that may fall in. And a tablespoon of butter. And I'm just gonna mix that around and let it melt. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna thicken up the sauce even more. All right, the butter melted and it's mixed around and look how nice and thick that is. I'm just waiting for the chicken to finish and I can't wait to taste it. And step six, finish and plate it. And this is a finished product. Looks pretty close to the picture, I think. Well, almost. Not too bad. Now I'm gonna taste it, and hopefully it tastes as good as it smells. All right. Rice is good. Chicken's really good. Okay, now let's try, let's try a Brussels sprout. Haven't had that in forever. Oh, it's actually pretty good. I have to say I'm very impressed. Pretty easy and delicious. I feel like I'm eating at a restaurant because these are flavors that I wouldn't normally get in my regular cooking. I got a chance to try some new vegetables. I've never had a parsnip roasted on its own. I've never eaten, oh, I ate Brussels sprouts once and I didn't like them, but these are good. Now I have a new vegetable to make and an easy way of cooking it. And I've also wanted to try basmati rice, which I just did. So overall, a big thumbs up for this meal. Very happy with it. And good job to HelloFresh. So please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that link down below. If you are thinking of signing up for a HelloFresh box subscription, I'm happy with it so far. Hopefully you like it too. And thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.